um, just at home and I'm drinking some water and I'm going to show you my bullet journal spread. Also today at school, I literally got hit by a car. I was just like facing this <laughs> school and then um, she was just like pulling out and then literally hit me. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys my bullet journal spread. It's not done, but I'm making it very minimalistic just because that's what I feel like doing. So we have February. I like how it turned out. And I accidentally started doing an A right here. And I was like, oh my god, it's supposed to be an R. So I just like made it into this weird looking R. But I kind of enjoy how it looks now. And then my first page so far, faves. So I'm going to write down like what my favorite things of February were. I'm going to keep on working on my bullet journal while I talk a little bit. And that we're also listening to uh, Coldplay Parachutes album, which is just the most freaking like great thing in the whole entire world of life. I'm honestly sad because one of my favorite songs ever and a song on this album is called Trouble. It's so freaking good and um, I used to play it all the time at work and this girl Josie and I, my favorite co-worker, we'd always be bonding over it. And she's like, Allie, you know this song makes me cry. But like, I don't know. It was like a joke between us though. And we would always have so much fun closing the shop together and listening to like The Smiths and Coldplay. And she's not working with us anymore. And it's literally the saddest thing ever. I know I'm like smiling, but like. I'm inside of me is slowly dying. Yeah. Josie, what the heck? How has everybody's day been? Um, okay, I always loved this one. The November, yeah. Yeah. Living life inside a bubble. Also, I feel like I have so many goals, but like, literally, what even are they? I made a list of them at school, and I forget what they all are. Because my actually i think i know like one of them is like live in a studio apartment and like struggle to pay rent with your dog like dude that's a great goal shouldn't be too hard to achieve for me okay i won't be working just kidding i actually want to work like i just need to find a place that i want to work at and i think it'll have a great time i can't see myself settling i can't do it but we'll see um I'm really looking for some new music also, because I'm getting a bit bored. So, let's think, how am I going to do this? Something that I was thinking a lot about last night, and whenever I've heard this brought up in the past, I'm like, dude, what the heck, you can't do that. But, like, if our country is in so much debt, why can't we just, like, get rid of it? Like, <laughs> like for real, like, who do we even have to pay back? You know what I mean? Like, why can't we just say no like let's not have debt anymore and like let's just like forget about it in my opinion i don't think that the debt of the united states is ever going to get paid back so why don't we just like forget about it and move on um probably because then if we just dismiss debt as a thing as a whole then we're going to keep getting into more debt and we're basically just like running the place that's but at the same time, we still just keep on getting more and more. I don't know. That's kind of like a stupid thing to say, but... Also, you have to think about it as an option. Okay? Think about it, guys. Think about it. Okay, actually, I'm going to give a little shout out right now. This girl that I sit next to in my art class is literally so nice. Really a happy spirit is within that girl, and it really brings up my mood because... It's also fifth period, like right after a lunch, and I'm a little like dead by then, but then she just like raises my spirits. And she's so nice, she's so supportive. So I honestly love that, like people in class who are nice really do raise my vibes. In the A Walk in the Woods book, Maya, if you're watching this, you already know. Actually don't know because you weren't in class today so you didn't get to hear me talk about it. But there's this line at the beginning of chapter 6, and it's like, walking in the woods, like, 
I became thought thoughtless or like you're he was kind of trying to explain that like for when you've been walking for so long like you literally just like are walking and like you don't even think about anything like your mind it's like your body is just like going like it's like on this autopilot mode and your body is just like walking 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 and he described it as like how his consciousness was like kind of just like detached from his whole body and he was like your mind is in a balloon and it's just like tethered on to this like moving body but like you're not even the body like you're just like this balloon that's being like dragged around by it and the balloon is like your mind and I thought that that was very interesting that he said that and he's just like saying how he just felt like it was just him and his mind and I think that's really awesome and cool I guess it makes me want to go hiking because that's definitely true also it reminds me of how like in survivor <laughs> i always forget that like they don't have mirrors and then they like don't see themselves for so long and it's weird how much we see ourselves like literally it is so weird but it's also weird how people like couldn't see themselves so long ago um and also it's weird because whenever i like not to be like dramatic but whenever i first deleted snapchat like that was kind of a big deal at first only because like i literally had had it for like many years you know like many years you have something and you just like get rid of it but like the amount of time that i'd spent on it was like insane so like it's just weird not to have it right away now it's like i wouldn't think twice about it again not trying to sound dramatic but it was just weird because like right after i would go like instinctively my thumb would like reach for the app to try to like go just like look at myself like does anybody else do that I swear I'm not like a narcissist like I don't think I look good half the time like I don't think I look good right now but like I would go on the camera to like just look at my face and since I didn't have snapchat I would just like go on the camera app to like look at myself and it's like why like literally why I don't know it was so weird but I don't know if anybody else does that I kind of feel like I'm not alone in that but also, um, today, I literally, like, failed my chemistry quiz. I failed it. And right now, I'm just making this little garland for my page. I'm making a takeaway page because, well, I just like the idea of having a little recap. And it's like, okay, so this month, like, what are the things that happen that I kind of want to, like, remember? Or, like, like what do I want to remember about February 2021, you know? Like, what are the big things that happened to me? I think that's fun to document. I mean, why not? Oh, guys, I love, like, coloring in little shapes. Like, right now, just coloring little hearts. And honestly, bullet journaling is so nice. Like, I'm so happy I'm doing this because I haven't done it in so long. And I used to be so, like, passionate about it. If you guys remember it, I was literally in the freaking newspaper. <laughs> just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. 